how to get roblox studio on chromebook in this video i'm going to show you how you can get roblox studio on your chromebook just like you can see me with roblox studio working on my chromebook right here how to install linux terminal on chromebook now the first thing you want to go ahead and do is go ahead and click on the search icon and then you want to go ahead and type in settings right away now go ahead and click on the settings bar the settings icon and once that loads up go ahead and look on your left hand side now right at the bottom of everything you're going to see about chrome os go ahead and click on this and then once you're going to go ahead and look for developer section, once you found that section, just go ahead and look for Linux development environment. And then you want to go ahead and click on setup right now. Now, once this pop-up comes up, just go ahead and click on next. And the next thing you want to go ahead and do is select a name for your terminal. I'm going to make my GD7 OS because that's the name of the channel. And then I'm going to go ahead and decide my disk size. Now, basically, you can leave this on 10 gigs recommended, or you can go ahead and click on custom. Now, I have a lot of space on my Chromebook, but I'm just going to leave this on 10 gigs recommended. And I'm going to go ahead and click on install. Now, you need stable internet connection to be able to install the Linux terminal smoothly. However, while this is installing, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step. How to get Roblox Studio on Chromebook. Now, go down in the description and click on the link to my site. Once you've clicked on that link, it should bring you right to this page. Now, once on this page, you're going to see six different links. What I need you to go ahead and do is go ahead and click on link one and wait for that to load. Now, once on the link one page, you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and you're going to see this download link button right here. Go ahead and click on that. And once you've clicked on that, you should see this panel. Now you want to go ahead and click on the Linux files on the left hand side of your screen. Do not select the download, select Linux files once again. And then you want to go ahead and name your file. Now, for example, we're going to name our file, for example, Rob. And then Rob is going to be rob.flatpakref. Everything before the flatpak ref goes and then it's rob.flatpakref. Once you're done, just go ahead and click on save and then wait for that to save. How to open Linux terminal on Chromebook. Now go ahead and hit your search icon and type in terminal. Now, once you've typed that in, you should see this icon. Go ahead and click on that. And this is exactly what you should see. But right in the Linux, you should see Penguin. Go ahead and click on the Penguin. And then you should be in your Linux terminal. Now, if you get any message above the Linux terminal, don't worry about that. All we need to know is that we have our login and we have our details right here. How to download Roblox Studio on Chromebook. Now, once you're done with those first two steps, what we want to go ahead and do is go back to the main site. Now, once you're here, you can go ahead and click on link two and wait for that to load right away. Now, personally, I'm going to push my browser to the right hand side of my screen so you can see both my terminal and you can also see the website. Now, once you're here, you want to go ahead and scroll the way down to the bottom and then you want to copy the first code, which says sudo apt update. Now, go ahead and right click this into the terminal. It should paste it right away and hit enter. Now, for some of us, our codes might look different, but all that matters is that your username shows right after it finished running. Now, once you're done, go ahead and copy the second code, which is sudo apt upgrade to upgrade your terminal and then right click this into the terminal once again. Now, once you're done, that should show that everything is done. Great. Now, once you're done with those two, you want to go ahead and go back to the main site once again, and then you want to go ahead and click on link three. Now, once you've clicked on link three, you want to scroll the way down once again, and then you're going to see two different codes. Now, the first code is cat etc debian underscore debian version. Right click and paste this in the terminal. Now, basically, we need to check our debian version is if this is anything between 10 to 13, you're perfectly okay because 12.12 .12 is also pretty good. But 10 between 10 and 13 is the sweet spot. Now, basically, you want to go ahead and copy the second code once again, and then you want to go ahead and paste this in your terminal and hit enter. Now, if you have any code that shows you y slash n at the end of it, just go and hit y and hit enter now for this tutorial i've already done that before and that's why it doesn't show in my terminal but if you see y slash n just go ahead and hit y and hit enter right away now once you're done with these you can go ahead and go back to the main site once on the main site you want to go ahead and click on link 4 and wait for that to load now once it loads just go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom once again and this is the part that you can see that i've written be careful with this part listen carefully because you have to be very careful and you need to pay attention at this point now copy the first code and go ahead and paste this in the terminal make sure you copy every single thing and paste it now at this point for some of you you might put sudo in my work you might leave sudo out and it might not work for example i paste mine and then you can see that it says error right here so i'm going to go ahead and copy this without the sudo and then if it works for me i'm copying this i paste it right here without the sudo i hit enter and then you can see that this worked right away so you need to pay attention not to make a mistake right here once again same thing with this part you can go ahead and use it with a sudo or without the sudo but i'm going to paste this and i'm going to do sudo flashback install and at this point you need to pay attention once again hit space and then type in rob dot flat pack ref this is exactly how we named our file and that is how it's supposed to be once you're done with this you can go ahead and hit enter and then it's going to ask you y slash n anytime you ask this just hit y and hit enter right after that hit y hit enter right after that and then wait for this to finish loading or updating or downloading 
Great. Now, once that is done, once again, you want to go back to the initial site. And once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on link five and wait for that to load as well. Great. Now, once this is here, you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. And at this point as well, you also have to pay attention and be careful with every single step. Now, at this point, most of you that might have clicked off this video might see that there is Roblox Studio probably in your search bar or search terminal. For some of you, it might not be there. But however, I want you guys to go ahead and copy this code and paste it right into your terminal and then go ahead and hit enter and wait for that to load. Now, for this specific series, I intentionally made sure that there wouldn't be an error and I'm going to explain a lot of things, so pay attention at this point as well. Now, basically, we want to go ahead and click on the wine. You can see that there's an icon right next to wine. Go ahead and click on that and wait for that to load. Great. Now, once this box loads up, what you want to go ahead and do is move this from Windows 10 to Windows 11. For some of you, it might be on Windows 7 or Windows 8. Just make sure that it's Windows 11 and then go ahead and click on Apply and click on OK. Great. Now, that's just the first step. If your PC is compatible, don't worry about the error codes you see here. All that matters is that this is understood and this is done well. Now, in the previous video, I saw that most of you had it installed, but you were having this error code that was saying that your PC does not meet the minimum requirement. And so I'm also going to address that in this video. And so pay attention to this next part. Now, what you want to go ahead and do is click on settings once again. And once you're in settings, what you want to go ahead and do is click on about Chrome OS. Once you've clicked on that, you look for diagnostics right here and then click on diagnostics. Now, basically, check your RAM or the memory at the end of this page. Now, basically, for those having 4 gigs of RAM, you're going to have a lot of trouble. And it might work for you or might not work for you. But if you have more than 4 gigs of RAM, this should work flawlessly. Now, the way we're going to test out and see if this should work for anyone or should work smoothly is by going back to a terminal. And as you can see down in the description, there's a second website that says compatibility. Go ahead and click on that, and then it should land you right on this page. Now, once on this page, go ahead and copy this code that says free hyphen eight, and then paste this in the terminal and hit enter right away. Great. Now, once you've pasted this here, what you're going to see is that it's going to show your total memory and it's going to show you what is being used and the free stuff. Now, if your total memory is 2.8 or anything below three gigabytes, this is not going to work for you because Roblox Studio has a hard cap when it comes to getting compatibility or getting things to work. You need at least three gigs of RAM available. Your Chromebook has four gigs of RAM and then the terminal is allocated only 2.8 gigs of RAM. And so with 2.8 gigs of RAM total for your terminal, which is running Roblox Studio, you might not be able to get Roblox Studio to work. However, for some of you, you might still be able to get Roblox Studio to work regardless of having just four gigs of RAM or having 2.8 in your terminal. And so either ways, we're still going to test this out. Now, what you want to go ahead and do is go back to the previous site and then you want to copy the code that we just copied from link five and then go ahead and paste this right here with the money stuff once you've done this you want to go ahead and click on run studio now from this point onwards it might take longer for some of you it might take shorter for some of you but what you need to do is just sit still and wait for this to finish downloading and loading everything now, if you're one of the people that get this kind of error, do not panic. Now, the straightforward thing you can do is click on login via browser and try and log in from here. However, for some of you, this method might not work. So I'm going to show you a different formula to go about doing this as well. Now, the last but not the least, go ahead and click on link six and then go ahead and copy this flag from this page right here. Now, once you copy this flag, you can wait. It's not even OK. Yeah. Once you're done, just go ahead and paste it in the top and then hit enter. It should bring you right here. Now, go ahead and type in crostini. Oh my goodness, Crostini, and then it'll give you the GPU support right here. Now, by default, for anyone that is on Chrome OS 131 or newer, it's disabled because it causes so many problems. However, for you guys, you can go ahead and turn it on and try it out, and you can also turn it off and try it out as well. So try it on, try it out, and then let me know how it works for you guys. Now, as you can see, once I typed in my details and clicked on Open Vinegar, you can see that it's trying to open Roblox Studio from this side. Now, for some of you, you can do it straight ahead or straight like this, and it's going to work. For others of you, you might have to do it a different way. However, as you can see, it says, Welcome to Roblox Studio, and then you can go ahead and click on Start Tour or Back to Home. Everything should work perfectly fine. Here is Roblox Studio working on my Chromebook. As you can see, everything works smoothly and everything went perfectly fine. If you guys are interested in getting more tutorials on different apps, you can just leave that in the comment section below. But that's it, it's your boy GD7 Plays, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.